Hey, this is Dave at Custom Dynamics. I want to show another comparison of our ProBeam to this competitor's uh, product that uh, some people have asked about. We won't name any of this stuff by the name as we don't like to do that, but we will show you a comparison. So what I did is I took one of our ProBeams out. I put this competitor's product in. This is the ProBeam. This is the competitor's product. They both have the exact same lens in here. I'll show you a little bit uh, about how they work and you can see for yourself on the brightness uh, between them. So we'll turn the bike on here. Again, you got our ProBeam white ring and they have a full ring over here. And as you look at it here, you'll see that the ProBeam is definitely brighter. Uh, the ProBeam is a halo, but uh, once you step back from it, it no longer looks like a halo. It looks like a full ring. This one is actually a full ring, a full cluster. It's, it's not, a, not a, a halo. Um, so again, on white, ours is definitely brighter, and you should be able to see that on the video. When you turn the turn signals on, and I'm going to turn the four ways on so you can see them both at the same time, um, the white turns off on the Pro Beam, and the amber flashes. On this one here, see the sides, it flashes uh, white, amber, white, amber, um, which is actually illegal. The Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, um, two things, when you have an integrated uh, DRL and turn signal. The DRL must turn off for the complete cycle of the turn signal, um, and which is that it's not doing. You can also not have a forward-facing white light on a vehicle, a motor vehicle, that flashes. So you cannot have a forward-facing white light. So this is a good way that you can get stopped by um, a officer because you are in violation of two federal motor vehicle safety standards. So that is not a legal light to have on your motorcycle and you'll see it's not compliant, it has no markings for uh, DOT, SAE or ECE where the Pro Beam does. I'm also going to turn the bike off and leave the four ways on so you can just see the ambers now without the running lights on. And you can clearly see here the amber LEDs on the Pro Beam are much brighter than this competitor's amber even though they have a full cluster of ambers, the ProBeam is much brighter than what they have. So again, we have not yet found anything on the market that is brighter than the ProBeam in both the white running light or the amber turn signal. If you want us to compare to anything you find out there, more than happy to do that. Thank you.